So in terms of the actual deal, though, um, you've basically said that it's been structured to uh, support US industry um, by yeah. uh, uh, buying into the Virginia-class submarines yeah. in the short term yeah. and that uh, the deal is driven by the fact that the Americans don't want to disrupt or can't disrupt their manufacturing capacity and thus there's this proposal for the British to yeah. uh, sort of co-build yeah. the... the uh, yeah. That's right. Well, look, at the, at, 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 uh, at the Kabuki show in San Diego a day or so ago, there's three leaders standing there. Only one is paying. Our bloke, Albo. The other two, you know, they've got the band playing. Happy days are here again. You know, the American president can hardly keep put three coherent sentences together. You know, he was happy about it all. Rishi couldn't believe, you know, uh, Rishi, Rishi, you know. Uh, and so guess what? We're going to pass across $380 billion, A dollars, over time to British aircraft BAE systems, a British company to build these things. And to, the, and, to the, and to the American submarine things, uh, submarine companies, and we have to build the bases here. So, you know, the, at, the, at San Diego, there was only one payer, the Australian Prime Minister, you know? So how do you think this came about? I mean, you've talked a bit about the fact that, in your, in your statement, about the fact that... Um, Labor came out and supported the Morrison government's proposition 24 hours after it was made. Hmm. Um, you know, is this because Labor doesn't feel that it can move on national security? Look, what happened? Penny Wong got the job uh, five years, uh, six years ago, and she decided that she decided that um, with Bill Shorten at the time uh, that there should be no opening for the Liberal Party to attack Labor on strategic policy. So she folded in with Julie Bishop and then subsequently Maurice Payne. There wasn't a, 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 there wasn't a bit of difference with them. In other words, they were not going to let... She was not going to rustle one leaf or see Labor go into an election campaign with strategic issues being about. So it was a sm the smallest small target policy, right? What happens after five years of this, finally, that willful Morrison comes up, run by, run by all the spooks in Canberra, particularly this Andrew Shearer fellow. This is the cook who was still in the Labor nest, you know. He's still running the policy. He's the guy that says, we've got a better idea. Why don't we get rid of those French submarines? You know, why don't we get the US ones? And so, they, with no notice of the Labor Party, they call them in at four o'clock one afternoon, I'd see Albanese, Wong and Miles, and at 10am the following morning, they have taken the policy in its entirety to board. And the Prime Minister's running around recently saying, I'm very proud to be able to take that policy in 24 hours. Well, how would you take a policy which is going to cost this much money, have these consequences for our relations, A, with China, with the region, B, in terms of our industrial base, how would you do this in 24 hours? You can only do it if you have no perceptive, no perceptive ability to understand the weight of the decisions you're being asked to make. It's, you know, other people call it incompetence. I'll call it maybe try, trying. But, uh, but we're dancing to the tune of, 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 of uh, Andrew Shearer. We're dancing to the tune. It's a Labor government. A Labor government of Aspie, which is this cell, pro-American cell run by a former private secretary and a Liberal minister, this Bassey fellow. Right, that, at, because Morrison made clear, the Australian newspaper made clear on the weekend, the foreign minister wasn't consulted. The people consulted were, were uh, the ONA people, that is, and, 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 and um, Aspie. I mean, this is this is, and wouldn't you think the first thing a Labor government would do would knock all their heads off? No, no, no. Andrew Andrew uh, Shearer was in the plane on the way to Tokyo with the Prime Minister. You know, I mean, they they've been brought in. I mean, the I mean, this this says something about the left in Australia. You know, I mean, I, I you know politically in the Labor Party, I fought the left most of my life. You know, always mostly on behalf of the United States. 
But the two principal people on the left in Australia are now Anthony Albanese and, 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 and Penny Wong. And what they've done, they, they have, they have uh, uh, essentially accommodated um, the, um, the, the, the strategic wishes of, of the United States, uncritically, uncritically. This is the left. You know, and of course they would say the old left, oh, that mob in Sussex Street, you can't trust them. But God, you know, if you look at me or Laurie Brett or Leo McClay, we look like Bolsheviks compared to them.